Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Off to Your Ninja. And he is in is in the tier 10 version of the um, the EBR 105. But well, yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, that's a tier 10 game on Zig Freeline. And it's an assault model map. Man, I can't speak today apparently. Which is okay because apparently Ninja can't drive. Um, I'm guessing he's just getting used to this thing. Uh, this was a game I see sent me a little while ago, and I just found it. So we're gonna try it out and see what happens. I'm again. I'm I'm sorry if there's any jump cuts that are in here or anything else because I'm still getting over the sickness. Um, though I feel I'm well enough that hopefully next week the stream starts up again. I should have a bunch of days off next week, considering the fact that I'm likely to work, uh, that I'm, I'm definitely working seven days in a row, plus overtime this week. So, you know, that, that should get us see some time off next week, right? I hope. But we'll see how it goes. Um, so far, nothing's really happened in this game. We fired a few shots, we whiffed a few. Um, and however, now we're getting in game. We're going to have a little duel with an AMX-3. That should be a lot of fun. Um, I really, I really can't wait to get my hands on this thing. Um, I love the fact that it goes backwards and forwards. Like, basically, um, if you flip yourself ninja, I'm going to laugh till I start dying of coughing. Um, I, I still can't get rid of the fact that it goes forwards and backwards at equal speeds, um, or nearly. And it's just, it, I don't thing I'm ever going to get over it. Not for a while anyway. Uh, I love the scouting he's doing. I do wish he'd get a bit more aggressive but obviously this is not the machine to be going aggressive with. Though, apparently the <laughs> enemy EBR not quite thinking the same things. And he went aggressive, got himself shot. He's now down to a, just a smidgen of his former health. And we should be able to take him out. Assuming, of course, we can find him. We can definitely find that Conqueror, though. Didn't we not get lit doing that? I don't think we got hit doing, or got lit doing that. Which means we can jump up and do it again. Um, unfortunately, not killing the Conqueror. I'm not co completely certain we hit the Conqueror, which is, of course, why we didn't kill him. Um, nice shot into the T-30. As you see he's falling back after each of these. We know he's got six cents, but he's still falling back after each of these because it's just good form. I wouldn't take that shot. Okay, apparently we just hit like, like, like a, like a two-foot triangle by <laughs> across the map. Yeah, I'm I'm shocked that that went into the spot we are, we actually in that. I mean, in most of these tanks. They have so little ammo that you don't want to be wasting it. But, I mean, obviously that shell connected and so it wasn't a waste. That shell, I mean, obviously, you know, you, we should be taking shots like that all the time. But when you can only see a smidgen of the enemy take, mm, you really got to pick and choose because, of course, with limited am ammo, you don't necessarily have the ammo to be just blasting it out in, into the air with it, the possibility of it actually connecting. Or at least, uh, at least without a decent chance of it actually connecting. Now, th he's got three enemy tanks on this side of the map that he's kind of pushed back into a corner. And these guys are sitting there and not doing anything against him. It allows him to get aggressive against this um, Death Barn along with the rest of its team. As he goes ahead and takes it out. For a second there, I thought it missed or bounced. But I guess the shell, it was a lot farther away than I was anticipating it was. And the shell took a little longer to get there. Now these guys have actually pushed down the back of this, uh, this ravine, and they've they've started to move away. Conquer did not get hit by our first shell when we fired a blind, unfortunately, and so that means we just now put them down to a one shot, and then we bounce and the friendly misses, and that's going to make it a little bit more difficult. Um, thankfully, though, he is still there. We go. Now he's dead. The ERB is down here somewhere. Uh, we last saw him on the backside of the ridgeline. Most likely, he's still in the same spot. 
Uh, though the AMX realized that this was not an optimal place, and he bugged out. Oh, there goes. Okay, so n <laughs> no more EBR to worry about. Though, apparently Ninja decided his tank needed to wash off. It does look so much better when it's wet. You gotta agree, right? <laughs> so maybe next time, don't submerge the entire thing at the same time, right? Um, T30 is using the death bomb for cover. Unfortunately, okay. Apparently, unfortunately, he's got really thick armor, and we're gonna have a hard time getting through. Uh, I was gonna say, unfortunately for him, we're on the back side of this, um, and so he's actually not taking cover. <laughs> uh, this is still an assault game, so remember that we still have four minutes left. Which is, uh, you know, a lot less than a standard battle. And we have to either kill her by or cap. I'm guessing that bad chat has six cents and realized he got spotted and started running away. The M5355 did not realize he got spotted and thus he did not run away. Not until he got shot anyway. But then it's a little bit late. Um. But knowing where all the enemy tanks are, we also know we can push down this right, this row, with only a small chance of meeting an enemy force. Mind you, he has his. Um, for a second there, he was thinking about loading some heat. He did not. He still has standard ammo, which is of course the uh, <laughs> the APCR. Um, the great thing about ha having APCR in as your ammo type is you don't have to lead the shots all that much because it flies so fast. Uh, when he switches over to heat in just a second, though, because he's going to run out of APCR, um, when he switches over to heat, he is going to have to start leading these targets significantly. Otherwise, he's just not going to be able to hit anything. Switching over to loading HE to finish off the artillery, he goes ahead and puts one round into the bat chat. And, okay, it, it dies from the effort. That's good. Yeah, about 50 average, or 500 average damage will do it. Going for the Pascucci's medal, he gets it, and now proceeds to... Mm, he's going to push over to where the enemy tanks are last surviving. But considering they have less than 1,000 piece both, both put together, they shouldn't be that hard to kill, especially when you put a... Uh, <laughs> a heat shell through one of them. And going to get the last kill of the game, it looks like... That was his Radley Walters we just bounced. I know that that comes with some heartbreak, but I also know that as much as he his adrenaline is going at the end, if you just aimed that shot instead of auto load, auto aiming it, he'd be on a Radley Walters. And you gotta think he's kicking himself because he didn't do that. Okay, let's jump over and see what the battle results were. Mastery badge, ace tanker, uh, spotter, bruiser, fire for effect, eight bonds, which is nice. The Puscucci's, high caliber, and top gun. Yeah, all worth it. Just, unfortunately, just that kill on the 705A is not quite there, and it just it smarts, you know? 56. 100 damage dealt, 7 kills, just shy of 1300 base experience. And this was the best guy on the enemy team, which is good to know. It wasn't some cheese ball in a corner kind of thing. But oh no, so close! Wow. Well done, sir. Actually, some decent spine damage, uh, considering the fact that he got so much actual damage done. Um, this was just a great game overall. I enjoyed it. I would, I kind of feel like I gotta put some of that dancing on the spikes routine into a, uh, into a video at some point, because you almost flipped yourself twice, and then you almost drowned yourself, and don't tell me that was science, because that was just, oh, <laughs> you getting lucky, but it was a lot of fun to watch. So thank you. Um, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. This IOE throughout.